Hello, my beautiful friends. Namaste, Spirit Man. Joseph Tittle here. This September 9th, 2018 with your September, October energy report and predictions. So we have just come out of a serious energy shift, an astrological shift. If you paid attention to my last couple videos on my energy report, my full moon report from back in July. From June 13th all the way till September 3rd, we've been in this huge, intense cycle that's brought up a lot of emotional stuff, brought up a lot of things and it's made us very aware of the things in our lives that are no longer serving our higher purpose whether it be your job a relationship a friendship a habit whatever it may be in your face by the universe showing you what needs to be cleared and let go of and even though it feels you know sort of like we're still in a retrograde the past week we've been out of it since September 3rd we woke up September 3rd in a new energy and a pre rebirth cycle now that we are in the day of the full moon September 9th, 2018, we are now in a major uh, rebirth cycle, which is the most intense rebirth cycle that we've been in since any of us have been on this planet. Just like the big intense shift that we just went through, through June, July, and mostly July and August, the most intense shift of our entire lives, and the most intense shift since the awakening in December 21st, 2012, now we're in the most intense rebirth cycle. What does this mean for all of us? So if you notice and you pay attention to things going on in the world, the past couple months we've seen as we have for the past few years but even more on a higher level of truth and things being revealed you also see how the darkness is trying to fight back by suppressing things like knowledge suppressing uh, the true news and keeping the fake news more to the forefront and trying to bring down anything that is in their fear of blocking them from their goal and their end end results of their new world order and so forth. But now we're in an amazing rebirth cycle. We're going into this astrological alignment coming up between now and the end of October. That is going to be something that hasn't happened in a few years since the Me Too movement started. Which means that you're going to see, and I said it in last videos, that there's going to be a new movement that's going to take place between now and the end of the year that's going to become huge. You're going to see continuously the dollar collapse through all the different countries, which I told you before about July and it's already happening in Ecuador. It's happening in all the countries and it's, gonna, it's going to be a domino effect. And part of that, they're doing that on purpose. That's part of them trying to bring fear to people by collapsing the economy, making things collapse, put you in and draw you under the fear. Stay focused on the love, stay focused on the positive. Because remember, in order for the good to come out of it, the, the, the bad things that no longer serve us must collapse. So government doesn't serve us anymore. Monetary system doesn't serve us anymore. It only serves the 1%. Big pharma and medical doesn't serve our higher purpose anymore. They're all collapsing. Religion, like the Catholic Church, doesn't serve our higher purpose anymore. It's collapsing, where the darkness kind of resides and dwells within it as it is. So, now that we're in this rebirth cycle, the new moon, starting today, it's a big two-week two cycle, until we go into the full moon, of course. October 27th, we go back into the next retrograde cycle. November is going to be a quite a different month and, and a retrograde, which I'll talk about next month in my next video. So what you need to do when we're going into these cycles of the new moon, and it's never too late to do this as long as you do it within at least three days before the full moon, is to sit down, write down your goals, things that you want to manifest in uh, two separate lists, a manifest list, a goal list. A list of goals would be things like clean out the closet, reorganize the, the attic or, or, or whatever, um, things that you want to accomplish goal-wise with work, career, and so forth. A manifest list is a list of things you want to call in from universe, such as a new flow of abundance in money, or perhaps a career opportunity that goes above and beyond anything you could have imagined or dreamed of. And you're going to make to both of those lists, and you're going to light a white candle or a yellow candle to represent. You can even use black if you do it on the new moon, because black represents the dark moon. You're going to read your you're going to light your candle, light some sage preferably, create yourself space. You're going to light you're going to read your goals first by saying thank you universe for helping me to accomplish the following goals with ease and joy. Read your list of goals. You're going to burn that list with your candle flame representing those goals coming into completion. Then you're going to read your manifest list by saying thank you universe for helping to allow the following things to flow into my life with ease and joy. Then you're going to read your manifest list. 
that list you don't want to burn. You're actually going to fold that list towards yourself three times, representing coming at you threefold, three times over. Place it under your candle. Leave it under your candle till the candle burns. Now, preferably, I like these candles, the ones that burn in the glass that are supposed to be seven days. These come from the grocery store, so they're more likely five days. You're supposed to let those candles burn out completely. You know, if you're, you have fear of leaving candles burning, I always put mine in the bathtub or in the sink if I get like nervous or freaked out about it. But if it really bothers you, then you can put the candle out and relight it again. But the proper way of doing something like that is to let the candle burn out completely. Or you can use a small candle that you know will burn out before bedtime. And when that candle burns out, take your list, put it somewhere safe, keep it away for a while. And that's actually the same ceremony that I was given by spirit to do on your birthday. Because your birthday is the most powerful day of the year. But I was just told recently to do this on the new moon cycle and during the cycle of this big rebirth new moon. Because this is all about manifesting things for ourselves, folks. And that's also only going to really come into play if you actually utilize the past two months, July and August, in letting go or being willing to let go of things that need to let go. I know that around me I've seen people, several different people, who have had uh, blow-ups with family members or arguments with different people. And again, these are signs of things that are no longer serving our higher purpose. And it's a clear sign of what we need to clear. Once you're willing to do so, it's kind of like, you know, you want to buy new clothes, but your closet's completely full. And in order to buy new clothes, you got to get rid of some of those clothes. Well, it's the same thing with our lives. We have to clear the things that are no longer doing us any good so that we can make room for new things. And we can all go shopping for new things in our lives, but not like generally real things, but you understand what I mean. So we're going to see over the next couple weeks, severe weather patterns take place, especially as we approach the new moon, as we approach the 11th of this month, a couple days away. I know last I watched the news, there was a hurricane heading towards the East Coast. Uh, that was in my top 10 weather prediction video. That's nothing in comparison to what we're going to encounter. If that thing comes in on the 11th, you can look out because the same thing, the 11 days, as I learned from my friend Allison, uh, Allison Bauman, the numerologist, uh, visiblebynumbers.com, that the 11 days, the 11th and 29th, usually when things come in, they come in hard and it's usually not a good day. So if that comes in on the 11th, you know, look out for that baby. But I'm sure it's going to be pretty, pretty severe as it is. Maybe not as severe as Sandy, but we're going to see these systems occur. As I said in my videos, top 10 weather predictions about the earthquakes. There were over 144 earthquakes along the Ring of Fire, and I talked to you all about the Ring of Fire. Not even two weeks later, all that began to occur. That's like a record breaking amount of earthquakes. So we're going to continue seeing this cycle with the Earth awakening, especially around the new moon and the full moon cycles. So I haven't watched the news lately, but I'm sure some things have been going on over the past couple days. And remember, the full moon energy and the new moon energy is always seven days. So the full moon is, you know, on your calendar, say is Wednesday. Your your full moon energy is actually three days before the cycle, the, the pre, pre shadow, the day of the full moon or new moon, which is the the, the direct, and then the three days following, which is the post post shadow. Those all seven days, especially like the full moon energy, that seven day period, three days before, three days after, day of. Ask anybody who works in the emergency room or police department, they'll tell you it's absolutely insane, crazy people, <laughs> and crazy things happening. Same thing with the new moon. So we're going to see that cycle take place in, in the way of weather events, and in, in the way of big events in the world, including that, you know, um, I just had a conversation with friends about this, about how you haven't heard lately. You don't hear very much about the Muslims, even though they blame them for things that are just bizarre and, you know, um, staged events as well. Maybe they're responsible for some, I'm sure. But you don't hear anything about terrorist attacks or anything lately, especially in the United States. And that, folks, is because they are planning something big. Uh, I don't know if it'll be between now and the next time I do a video, but you can expect that. But don't let all these things that are happening in the world bring you down to a place of fear. That is the key. So if, if it does, you have to pull yourself out from watching that. Pull yourself away from the TV and the news if it's going to bring you down. It's good to be aware, but it's not good to allow that awareness to bring you into fear. We're going to see major shifts and things take place. You're going to see more things come out related to the Me Too movement as we go into the next big movement that's going to take over. It's like the, the one that currently is in place, the Me Too, it's going to blow up even bigger before the next one comes 
comes along. So you can expect that coming up really, really soon too. So remember to take time to uh, focus on your goals, focus on the things you want to manifest. Remember every day, focus on what it is that you want, not what you don't want. And I have a hard time sometimes trying to drill this into certain family members and friends' heads because they're always focused on what they're worried is going to happen or what they don't want to happen. And you just got to be firmly focused on what you want, not how you're going to get it, not how it's possible or not possible or hard or challenging. Just focus on what you want and know in your heart and soul that the universe will provide. I wish you all, all a wonderful September and a fall equinox that's coming up really soon. Another time to celebrate. I will make sure that I have something out there for you for that. And we'll probably do a live event on YouTube like I did last year right before Halloween. So keep your eyes out for that. Be sure to visit my website down below, josephtittle.com. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel down below as well. I thank you for watching and wish you all the best and an amazingly abundant, healthy, and joyful day. And therefore, namaste.